Hey guys, it's Hex13. How's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you a Backtrack 5 tutorial on how uh, to use creating a payload and a listener. Um, so this will be using SET, which is a social engineering toolkit. You might have seen it in my previous videos before. So I'm going to go ahead and open Backtrack 5 that I already have uh booted up in VMware Fusion on my Mac. So um, what you want to do is you want to go to Applications, Backtrack, and then the uh, Exploitation Tools, and then Set, which is right or Social Engineering Tools, Engineering Social Engineering Toolkit, and then Set. But or you can just go through the terminal, type in CD slash pen test slash exploits slash set dot set and there's social engineering toolkit now um what we're going to do is number four from the menu create a payload and a listener number four press enter now here it's asking um enter the IP address of the payload the reverse connection so which would be the IP address of this machine I believe so um, you, what you wouldn't want to do is open a new tab hit config and then go up here and then grab your IP address now this is a local IP address okay so whoops um, the local IP address will work if you're on the local network that you're trying to get this to reverse to connect to you can also use your external IP address but remember if you're going to use your external IP address you need to know how to port forward your router and you're going to need to know uh, you're ne going to need to have your own web domain that's listed up on the internet so you could have it go through the internet back and forth that'd be another way you could do it um, uh, redirecting so um, I honestly my ISP does not allow that so I cannot do that uh, now here is your choice what you can do uh, in my case I like to use my interpreter uh, another one that's really fun if you haven't even got to do it yet VNC is really cool is really fun it spawns a VNC server you can see exactly what they're doing on their computer so I like that a lot I might even show you a video next about that um, the bind shell so you got all that you can mess around with to get an idea of what you like best and go with that so um, in this case I'm just going to choose a number two uh, the reverse interpreter um, now it's saying what do you want to use um, as an executable I use number 16 because of course it says it's the best so I use 16 I've also used 15 and I've used 4 and 7 I think um, so just mess around which one works best for you all of them should work okay so um, now the port for the listener this can be any port as long as it's open you know stuff like that um, I use 4400 444 all the time or use 5555 whatever works for you so now it's back during the legitimate uh, executable it says it's bypassing the antivirus stuff like that now it says do you want to listen now um, I'm just going to say no so if you see the blue there it says the payload is now in the root directory of the set so I'm going to exit out of here I'm going to say ls in the terminal and there it is it's the ms.exe now you can give it to someone change the file name to like setup.exe tell them it's something else the best and dirtiest way to do it is since this is barely uh, like it was doing earlier like it said bypassing antivirus it doesn't bypass all of them it can bypass I think three or seven something like that a very small minimum of viruses antiviruses so if you know they don't use antivirus or you know they're using something like Norton or McAfee it will work perfectly so what you want to do is bind it 
and how you bind it. There's a Windows binder, uh, binder that's built in the operating system. And there's a few other tools. I forget which ones they were called, but in the top of my head. But you can bind that with uh, like a Dropbox or something you can think of that they haven't even downloaded or installed before. Think something in your head. I know you guys can think of something. And then bind that with this one. And then they won't even know that it really ran this, the executable. And then you can your listener will automatically pick it up and you can connect to them that way. Or you can also think of other things like I do. Uh, set up a test scheduler for Windows to launch the uh, executable every time they boot up their machine so that you're always connecting back to them. Uh, you're maintaining that access to keep connecting back to them. Um, so, um, that's the, uh, that's this tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys how you guys can create a payload listener really quickly through uh, Social Engineering Toolkit. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Comment, subscribe, uh, rate it, you know, give me some recommendations of other videos. I'm just making videos uh, extremely uh, as fast as I can here or when I got the time. So uh, we'll go from there. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Take care.